Okay, today I'm going to do another kind of home update video. I am heading to our new home where I have been working a little bit on the gardening uh, in the front around all of the construction. So I'm excited to show you. Uh, we've had the permit for two weeks. So they stopped work, I think on Tuesday. So they didn't work at all over Thanksgiving. And so it is amazing how much they have done in these two weeks. Getting a new washer and dryer today, I decided that um, I really did not like the ones that we were using. It was a, a gifted washer, washing machine. Um, and then the dryer we bought on Facebook Marketplace and it was from a place, it was $40 and it was from a place that buys like storage units. And it just never, I never felt really good about it. And it turned out, um, when we first plugged it in, it sparked. And so we turned off the power and plugged it in and then turned it on and the power seemed to be working okay. So we didn't really think anything about it. We would like never run it while we weren't home or something like that. We just didn't have the warm fuzzy about it. And then after I got notice that our washer and dryer is being delivered today, we went to pull out the old machine and literally, I'm surprised our place didn't burn down. Um, when he tried to unplug it from the 240, it sparked. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty scary. Um, I did put in a request to the property manager um, to have an electrician come out, uh, even though we we're getting a new dryer today. First of all, I was like, well, let me just plug it in and see if it sparks. But um, I really think it is the plug, <laughs> not the dryer. And um, yeah, it, it's just really scary. I feel very blessed that um, we decided to replace the washer and dryer now instead of wait um, another six months. This is the back of my house. It's my new house. You should have seen them up on the roof with a sledgehammer um, taking down the chimney. I mean, there are pieces of the chimney all over. There's kind of like the hearth. Um, I, they've already emptied the dumpsters a couple of times. There was just a pile of brick. Um, then they took out some concrete. So there's this huge thing of concrete here. It's going to be so expensive to have them haul it away. They put the new footing for the garage. So if we come out here, where I'm standing now is going to be a three car garage and it will extend where that footing is. So this was the old garage door. I had some pictures of it before where they had raised the floor up before I had the permit, but it is completely closed in now. Here's the back. This footing here is going to be the new extension. So this entire wall is going to come out here and then we'll have a 12 foot sliding glass door, four panel that will go into a pocket and then a three panel door here that will, I'm not sure which way the pocket will go, but so it will be a whole wall of sliding glass doors, most, most of the wall. And then eventually, so this area right here, one day, phase two, phase three, phase sometime later, um, we'll put a porch um, out there with an outdoor kitchen. But um, <laughs> right now my yard is just totally trashed. I mean, there's stuff everywhere. I um, had thought I was going to have a, just a garden designer come out and help me lay out things. But I mean, just where there's stuff just piled everywhere. Um, yeah, it'd be pointless to try and have a garden designer come out because I can't really do anything at this point, but I am planting a few things. So I didn't want to do that. I, I do want to water in what I've planted. Here I have some plants covered. I'm just going to show you. I need to thin them because I just kind of sprinkled seeds, but I'm just not sure when you actually thin them. Again, this is my first year of gardening. So if you know when I should, if I should do it now or wait till they're a little bit taller, you know, that would be great. So these are my seeds. I did thin over here, bachelor buttons. I did thin those. But he, this is larkspur. Let's see if we can see. This is larkspur here. 
Well, really see that much. Back over there is, um, there's a belt of Ireland. Back here. Nigella here. What is Nigella called? It's called something else. Love in a Mist. That's my Love in a Mist. I don't really have a whole lot. I have a few, but not a whole lot of Dara. This is Dara here. This is Orlea here. Not a whole lot, but I definitely have. It's higher with the Nigella, the Love in a Mist, oh, and the Larkspur. If you kind of see here, you know, these are definitely clusters. Yeah, so I just don't know when you should pull them apart. I am just covering them with some frost cloth again because it's getting so cold. I didn't do a whole lot of, <laughs> sorry, sorry about how I'm having the camera all over the place. I did not do a whole lot of um, Black Friday shopping, but of course my favorite Brands are having Black Friday sale. My Ride or Die um, skincare, both the Dermatology and City Beauty are both having amazing Black Friday sales. Dermatology is 30% off. I kind of feel if you wanted to try these things, now's the time to do it because too often with me, I'm like, oh, I don't feel like shopping at Black Friday or I've shopped enough. And then when I'm ready to buy, like maybe two weeks later, it's full price <laughs> or it's a sale that's not as good of a sale. So then I'm kind of bummed. So if you are thinking of looking at anything dermatology or City Beauty, City Beauty is 40% off site-wide right now through Cyber Monday and dermatology is 30% off site-wide. Um, I do have some affiliate links in the description box, but of course you can go direct to their website and you don't need a coupon for either of those specials. Um, as far as brushes, a uh, refer brush also has 50% off going on still. Some brushes they say are 60% off. And um, BK Beauty for synthetic brushes are 25, 20 to 35% off or 25 to 30% off. I can't remember which, but they are also having a sale. So if you see what I use on a regular basis and have ever contemplated purchasing those items, now is the time um, to go to them. And again, in the description box, I have like all my favorite uh, product links and you can get to them from there. Um, other than that, I am just going to finish uh, my gardening over this bed here. I'm going to be planting all of my tulip bulbs. We'll change out that wire cage. I have a better wire cage over here on my ranunculus. Oh my gosh, I planted these about five weeks ago and I need to take the cages off because I didn't think they were going to grow yet. Let me just show you how these are doing. I hope you don't mind me showing you all this gardening stuff. Look at my ranunculus. So these are um, cool flowers so they're going to hopefully do really well. Um, I'm really excited. I have all these different varieties But I, I will put that cage, I think, over the tulip bulbs. Now the tulip bulbs I know are really tasty to squirrels. I'm not sure if they dig up ranunculus or not. Um, over here, these are anemones. And they've got really thick stalks already. Um, I just planted some on the end. I have some more anemones. Well, I can't remember. Maybe I actually did plant all my anemones. I, I don't know. I just kind of was like, oh, I ordered all these bulbs. I need to start getting them in the ground. And I just start throwing things in the ground. This also has ranunculus. This batch is not growing as quick as this batch. Hmm. I wonder why. Maybe because it's higher? This one is, is low, it's only a six inch bed, and this is a um, 
12 inch bed and the bottom portion of this was filled with wood chips and so the top half top six inches was um soil i don't know it's interesting this one definitely is not doing as well could be the types too i mean they're all different types of ranunculus anyway i think i'm just going to keep them covered through the season or through the winter instead of trying to take them all take the cover on and off so i had a great thanksgiving my daughter we're both in town and my oldest was originally going to stay for five days until today, but she has a boyfriend. They've been dating for a year. His family wanted um, her to go over there for Christmas or Thanksgiving. So she ended up leaving yesterday, which was sad because she was only here full day Wednesday and then full day Thanksgiving. And so, yeah, just didn't get to spend as much time with her. I guess that's what happens when your kids get older, but this is the first time we've actually had to share our children with another family. Um, anyway, so that's about it right now. Oh, I should show you the front of the house. Let me just show you the front of the house. Okay, here's the front of the house. This is some perlite that I sprinkled in. We had um, a backhoe dig all this up and it was just this huge mound, almost, um, you know, this high of roots that were in there. And as I'm turning over this dirt, it's still, I'm just piling, pulling out tons of bits of roots from this tree that was taken out there. But I did plant some peonies finally yesterday. I got them in the mail the first week of October and I just got them in the ground. Now I put them in cages because I just don't know what kind of critters. Um, we do have moles. I heard we had voles. So um, yeah, I put them in little cages here. I got to stir in the vermiculite here. I did put one in there. We moved a Nardinia, a Nardina plant here because they were under this area in front of what's going to be our front door. That plywood is going to be our front door. You can see our front yard is a construction site too. But there is our front. And originally it was just going, the patio, we were just going to even it out to the brick because when we had an extended front porch, a front patio, it was denied because we have a 50 foot setback but I finally got our survey back that I ordered in August and the 50 foot setback is now where these posts are. It's on the inside of the sidewalk. So we are gonna pull the gable out and make a 50 foot setback or a 50 foot, yeah. And we were gonna bring out the porch to the setback line. So the Nardina were planted here, moved one over there move two over there. Those are some peonies in there that I'm going to put over on that side. And we took out a bunch of bushes and put them out there. So I will be planting, I have a, some bulbs here, some alliums, and I have a ton of roses coming in the spring. 46 rose bushes. They won't all go in the front yard. They'll go somewhere. <laughs> okay, so coming into what used to be the front entryway, and you can see it's framed out. And we took down this wall. So this bedroom is going to be my office slash YouTube room. And we will put a window where the door is, but this will all be part of my... Um, my office, put in built-in bookshelves in the back, an extra blue couch that you've seen me sit on in front of bookshelves in previous videos. That'll kind of go there. Um, maybe store photography stuff because it's tall up there. Makeup in the closet. Yeah, that's going to be the room. Nothing's really done here any different. Um, it's all we are doing is painting and changing the closet doors in here. 
And he started to take out the, that's the shower there. And we're going to punch out the shower, oh, uh, maybe a foot or two closer to me. You can tell that there was a water leak at some point. And then this will be a uh, skinnier, it won't be as deep, but it will be a closet this way with French doors. And then here, I think the shower will come out to about here. Yeah. I'm gonna use the toilet to get the waters off. That toilet was running and um, I had a $200 water bill in August when nobody was here. Again, we're ripping all of this out. This can be just one giant room for a bathroom. We'll have a tub under the window. This is going to be the foyer, double doors here, just a really big foyer. Um, that wall will stay. This whole wall here will go. So once once they get the footing out and they can start taking the beams across, um, we are not we are going to take out the raised ceiling because this right here is going to be the center of the room. So we're just going to take a flat ceiling all the way across. And it'll be a really big room. And again, the kitchen will take out there. That door will be gone. It will actually be coming in from the new garage out there. So you'll enter the kitchen from over there. Coming down here, this is all framed out. It's my new, this used to be the dining room. It's my new walk-in closet. <laughs> nice and big. Got a little nook here that will put um, some bookshelves. Oh, this is my walk-in pantry, this whole area here. So we'll have counter space going all the way here. And then we'll have like faux cabinet doors, fake cabinet door here, fake cabinet door here, which will open into this walk-in pantry. Oh, and then we will also, the, this will all be gone. We'll also have a big island right there, kitchen island. Okay, so in my walk-in closet, we are still going to put the washer and dryer in here. And I think we'll put it on this end so that if somebody wants to block it off and put a door, um, then they, you could enter the washer dryer here, which was in our original plan. I, I don't know. I haven't decided whether or not to do it now or just keep it, keep the laundry room in my closet. Because if it stays in my closet, if the laundry room stays in my closet, then I still can use this section as closet space. Whereas if we close it off and make it a, um, a door, you know, you won't be able to put anything there. So I'm still going back and forth. For me, I don't really mind it in my closet. Um, and of course I plan on staying in this house till I go to assisted living or wherever I go. So I'm not really concerned about what somebody else does with the space. Okay, so you've now walked into, here's the door. You've now walked into my master suite. So here's the entrance to the closet. This is going to be the master bath. They raise the ceiling. And it'll just be a shower across the back, toilet, sink, or vanity, 72, uh, double sink vanity here. And then this area here is going to be kind of a like, I don't know what it's called, a an open area basically, but we're going to put cabinet across here and then have a, a, a cabinet where you can close off on this side. But here will be, um, we'll put the toilet paper towels, like a linen closet underneath or linen um, storage, bathroom storage underneath. But above, I wanted a place where my husband, he's a pilot. And so he always has his carry on bag really packed and I want him to be able to just put his stuff here. This will be the main sleeping area. We'll put some windows up here 
And I've had the big debate. I'm not sure what happened if we put a barn door here, if that's considered a door. Otherwise, we're going to leave it open, but because this is the only egress window. Um, but I would love to have some sort of barn door so that I could close it off. So my husband comes in at one in the morning when he gets back from a trip. He can put his bag here. This is his walk in closet. He can go into his closet. He can go into the bedroom or bathroom and do all this stuff without disturbing me. So that's the plan. And that's it. That's where we are. I mean, this has been two weeks. They have been moving so fast. <laughs> Here are the plans thrown on the ground. Some of them got wet. <laughs> but uh, I've just been really pleased with how fast they're moving. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little update. Um, Thanks for being here with me on this holiday weekend or holiday in the U.S. Uh, weekend. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.